What's going on fish people? My fish friends and all that good stuff. Sitting down here in my little uh whatever this chair is called. Looking at my fish shanks, enjoying it. I cleaned it, I cleaned them really good. So we're here to talk about the 29 gallon tank, the long one right here. It's still a little cloudy cloudy after the that cleaning, but it's not too bad. Let's take a look at this. So I added the snails to start helping with some more of that beneficial bacteria, adding some ammonia, natural ammonia to the tank so that the beneficial bacteria has something to feast on and build, uh, you know, all the benefits that the tank needs. I did put an algae wafer in there, let them eat that algae wafer in. The water uh, perimeters, are they're not that bad. We're getting ready to test them again. We tested them yesterday. We're going to test them again, see where they're at today. So let's look at our perimeters real quick. We're still not looking too, too great. Ammonia went down to zero, which is right there. That's the ammonia. Our uh, ITEs, which is right here. It's pretty decent. You want it at zero, 25 ppm, as you see. Then our ATEs, that's what's not looking good right now. Which is roughly like 10. And I will prefer 0 0.05, 0 0.0 to a 0. And then we have no pH still. So yeah, I got some work to do on this tank before I put any fish inside of it. Um, I don't want my fish adapting to hard um, levels of water. And fighting for survival so right now what this means that I have a fishless cycle pretty much I'm doing a fishless cycle which I do have some snails in it but the snails are much more hardy and it's better than being in this I'm selling these um, I lost a few but I will be putting them in a better holding tank just got them in this for right now setting up that holding tank Better than that, 10 gallon, I mean a 29 gallon is doing pretty well. It looks pretty decent. Um, it needs some work. We're definitely out of work on them ATEs, the pH, and bring them levels to a better um, perimeter for our test kit. But other than that, I think I know what kind of fish I want to put in. So. We have to pick fish that are okay with a doja loach, which is right there, and okay with a garami, which is right there, which there's a lot of fish to get along with both of these fish here. So I want to do tetras, like black neon tetras, carton oats. Uh, red neon tetras those type of species along with one of those uh, I forget the actual name but they are they look like plecos but they're flat bodied I want to put one of those in there well in this tank here and a species of quarry cats I don't know yet which species I want to put I can either take some out of here and put in or buy new ones what you guys think should I do the tetras hopefully he doesn't eat them because his mouth is big enough to eat a tetra I can't really do barbs because they might pick at her beautiful fins Or at home. Hmm. 
I'm thinking maybe a pair of Rams. A pair of Rams would definitely get along with the Garami and get along with the Doja Loach. And they'll kind of do their own thing. And they're good for 20 gallon tanks. I would definitely heavy more, heavily plant it more because I want to put plants all along this side here. And I want to put smaller plants all up in the front here. And then some bigger ones towards the back. So I definitely want to do that. I definitely am going to be buying another sponge filter for that tank as well. And what I would do is take that sponge filter, toss it in here because that definitely has beneficial bacteria and put the new one in there and it won't suffer anything because that has a hang on back filter. But back to the fish that I want to put in. I'm thinking maybe scratch the neon tetras or the barbs and we can do a pair of rams. <clears throat> so what you guys think about that? The Doja Loach, the Garami, a pair of rams, and probably a school of maybe eight Rasboras. I think that will look really nice. Eight Rasboras and maybe four to five quarry cats. It won't be too much for the tank. Um, a lot of people are concerned about overstocking. Um, there's, I don't wanna say there's no such thing of overstocking because there is. I can add another five of these each and then of course that would be overstocking. It'd just be too much for the tank. But it all comes down to your filtration. Your filtration controls how much fish you can actually put inside of your fish tank. So if your filter can hold the load of waste, then there's no harm actually happening to the fish. Your fish will actually thrive. Um, some fish actually have to be overstocked so that the aggression in the tank is not um, very high. Like cichlids, you can overstock a cichlid tank and that will slow down and, and sometimes even stop the amount of fighting that's happening in the tank. Um, same thing with Tetras, these guys here. When I first got these and there was a smaller group, um, all of their fins were pretty much torn up. As I added on so that uh, the tank doesn't have a high spike in ammonia, I added them in small groups. Um, there's no nipping at all. We can sit here and look at this tank just like this for hours and there's no nipping. As you see right now, there's there's no nipping happening at all. Now you might see that one there, and he looked like he's being a nip, but that's actually how his fins are. I love his fins. Look at this one here. They're like a little piranha. Aha. See the teeth. But yeah, um, I, I'm not going to say overstocking it because the tank is pretty big. It's a 29 long, pretty wide. Right now it's just pumping this double filtration. It has a three chamber over here and then a regular cartridge, which these will be getting replaced very soon. A sponge will be going on that side with um, some bio balls. And a sponge would be going on this side with some bio balls. And then the, what is it called? Sponge filter will go exactly right here with this air stone that's pumping inside of there. So this tank would definitely have the filtration to handle the Doja Loach, the Garami, uh, four quarry cats, the snails, and also, uh, the two rams and a couple uh, rasboras. This snail is holding on to a little or snail and it just looks weird. Look, he's eating. He's eating guys, he's eating, oh my God. But let me know what you guys think about that. I'm gonna leave y'all to it. 